What's up, everybody? Cinema Dan here. Um, this is a different kind of episode for me. Usually I'm doing my movie reviews or crazy taste testing or vulgar rants. But uh, this is actually something that's going to be a tip uh, to help you guys out. Actually a creative project. I've been wanting to store my DVDs or my Blu-rays or my Laserdiscs. Well, this isn't for Laserdiscs. Um, in a more economic, convenient way. And everywhere you look, in catalogs, online, uh, in stores, just to hold 200 DVDs, 300 DVDs, you're, you're spending anywhere from 50 to $300 on a piece of furniture to store them. I have 2,000 DVDs and Blu-rays, um, mostly DVDs. And I'm not kind of paying that kind of money. That's ridiculous. So I found out a way how to do it. Um, you need this and this. Okay? And you can go to Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. Um, these are 1x4s. These are 1x3s. And this is all you need to buy. Now, obviously, they're, they're not actually 4 inches. Just like 2x4s aren't 4 inches. These are 3.5. This is 2.5, uh, basically. Um, you need, based on your DVD collection and your house and your wall or your apartment or wherever you want to put this, that's how you would do it. I did it based on the fact that I have to almost 2,000 DVDs. Um, so I used 18 of these, and I used four of these. Um, obviously, not in this length, because this would probably hold about five DVDs each. <laughs> um, but you get them in a six feet, and you, you cut them to, to whatever you want. And this is just the intro. You're going to see, I'm not going to go through everything, how to build it. I'm going to show you what I did. But basically, this is the side. One side, other side, these go in between and down, and I have one support beam of this in the back. And this is not mounted on the wall, it's on the floor, so you don't have to worry about it falling off the wall from weight. I did have that happen to me in the past in my old apartment. Now I have my own home, so I could have probably put it into the beams of the wall, but I didn't want that. I wanted it on the floor in case I ever wanted to move it. I do bracket it on the top, a little L bracket, just to secure it against the wall um, from falling forward. But this is the cheapest, most economic way. Yes, I could have used these as shelves too. And now you see people are like, damn, that's kind of small for a DVD. It's actually not. Because what you do is when you build this as the side beam, you put this as the front like that. And you'll have that gap in the back. That'll be against the wall. And physics and gravity does the rest. They, the DVDs will not fall forward. They can't go back. So you don't need to spend the extra two bucks to get all these kind of beams. It's more expensive. So the one side of my wall, which holds about 900 DVDs, um, is under twenty dollars because these were a dollar nineteen each. These I think were like two thirty nine, something like that. So it's fifteen, sixteen bucks. Now you do have to buy screws, wood screws, maybe five dollars for that. I'm assuming everybody you have a drill, uh, and and whatever. I painted mine to match my wall, some some paint. So if you don't have a drill, yeah, you're gonna have to borrow one. And you know somebody who has a drill. It's like a cell phone. Um, so literally under twenty dollars to hold 900 DVDs. You find me a cheaper way to do this anywhere, let me know. Also, I want to uh, sh give a shout out to a guy named Scott. He has uh, the Frugal Filmmaker channel here on YouTube. He also has his website, frugalfilmmaker.com. Um, he doesn't know me. I don't know him. I just know him from watching his YouTube videos. I doubt he watches any of mine. Because <laughs> um, I, like, I do movie reviews and crazy vulgar stuff. But I definitely want to give him a shout out because I learned so many tips from him. And hopefully he'll mention this particular video. Um, Scott, if you're watching, you know, this is, you know, it's not about movie making, but it's about holding and storing your movies frugally. So, uh, anyway, check it out. This intro went long enough. I'm just going to show you some clips of me building it and talking again. Uh, it's not, it's not complete when you see it. All my DVDs are not on there, but you're going to get the gist of it. So I hope I talked fast enough. So instead of this being eight minutes, maybe it was four. I don't know. All right, check it out. This is what it looks like. So I got it up. Uh, I did here to here is eight inches. So eight inches from the bottom of that to the top of this. It's a perfect amount for a DVD and a Blu-ray with a little extra space. And now the DVDs will sit perfectly. Yeah, they hang over a little bit, but it's cool because then when they're all up there, it's gonna look like they're just there. They're there. So I did it like that because I know how many DVDs I have, and they're all gonna be tight in there anyway, they're not going to go anywhere, but if you have a different, if you have like 100 DVDs or 300, you're not going to build something like this. Alright, some more footage, I got it up on the wall now. I painted it actually the color of the wall, so it's just going to look cooler that way. 
Um, and what I did do was I put the beam down the middle, as you can see. There's a little uh, Bruce Willis for you. But the beam's going to go all the way down the middle. Okay. And I'll put the DVDs on the left and right of it. And I think I'll just put figures right down, the movie figures down the middle, which will just add to the whole look of the actual living room. So there you go. Again, show you more as I progress. Also, I wanted to point out on the top shelves here, I put a bracket in the wall. That's just for balance. I mean, it's in there pretty tight. Um, but again, the wall's not taking any of the weight because this is built on the floor. So I got that one there, and there's that one there. Yeah, I didn't screw this in yet, so I know I didn't. I didn't miss yet. Uh, so just another thing I wanted to point out. All right, people. There's the wall. Right there. But look at that. That is under 20 bucks. I guarantee you any catalog, that would be over $200. Yeah, Cinema Dan did it for under 20 bucks. I did count them. Um, I, I averaged them. There's anywhere from 102 to 115 to 100 per row. So we can average 100 per row right there. So it's, uh, it's 800. About 800 DVDs right there. Okay, so that's pretty awesome for under 20 bucks holding 800 DVDs. And I'll get closer so you guys can see again. All right, I painted it, you can see. And this comes to edge. They hang off, I would say, about an inch and a half, maybe two inches at most. So it's not more than two inches. All right, as you can see, this is the entire setup. This is the one wall. And this is the other wall. It's about 1,800 DVDs. Um, Blu-rays, you would hold a little more. Maybe another 400, something like that. I'm, I'm guessing. Show you the Blu-rays. They, they fit really nice on the shelving. Like, like awesome. Um, of course, they're smaller. They're just as wide, but I don't know. They just seem to sit better. I don't know. But either way, Blu-ray, DVD, it's uh, economic. So basically, uh, 1,800 to 2,000 you can hold here. Um, and if you use the top shelf for DVDs or Blu-rays, I have my my bigger uh, box sets up top. But uh, it's, it's talk about frugal. This is the way to do it. So hey everybody, just wanted to come on, um, clarify something. Um, obviously if you don't have this many DVDs or Blu-rays or what have you, you're not going to make it this big and you might not need that support beam. So you could probably do this for under $5. Uh, think about that. If you put the, well maybe a little more than $5 because if you bought two 1x4s and put them on the sides, cut them in half, and then, I don't know, you got four one by threes. Yeah, sorry, I'm thinking on the air right now. Yeah, you, you could do this very cheaply. Like, and have and hold, man, maybe four or five hundred. So, whatever, whatever you need. But this is not a self standing, like, bookshelf type of thing. And I wasn't trying to make that because that's going to cost money. That's obvious. You can do that. Also, I know you can put these on the walls. Uh, mount them with beams underneath and shelves on top and sides. That wasn't the point. The whole point was to do it frugally, um, cheaply. Not the same thing. That's like uh, simultaneously and at the same time. Anyway, very, very economic way to do this. Doesn't cost much and it works. There's a little support in the wall with the two L brackets. You have a nice self standing. The key is putting it on the floor so it's not on the, on the wall. Alright, so do it to your specs. If you have any questions, comment below, whatever, write to me. Uh, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Whatever. Alright, see you later. I'm Cinema Dan, and as usual, just like my reviews, don't take my word for it. Take yours. Trust the beard. Make movies. Have fun. Watch movies. Enjoy life. It's too short.